welcome back to another today go the wider caribbean all our viewers you all have been sticking with us today on brunch having a good time relaxing in your homes in your comfort zones and we thank you for being with us here today we are here with the lovely with the amazing with the delicious <laughs> Anne Marie Arthur, right? She has got some treats here today. I tell you, I'm, I'm intending to have a good Thursday. Believe you. <laughs> Anne Marie is a renowned chef, and let me tell you, it looks like she's a phenomenal baker as well. She has brought some treats for us today. But before we get into the treats, right? Because we may just forget we're on TV and enjoy ourselves. <laughs> Before we get into these amazing treats she has set up here, let's talk to Anne Marie a bit. Anne Marie, welcome to brunch. Thank you for having me here. Yes, it's lovely to have you. <laughs> and we want to talk to you today. I want you to tell the viewers about uh, your your path to becoming a, a chef, a renowned chef, starting at Scarborough. A secondary, right? Just saying that he'll senior secondary. School. Right. So at the tell time us it was about tell us about that. You graduating and heading into the other school. Well, I attended the Scarborough Secondary School mm -hmm. and went to Signal Hill Senior Comprehensive at the time, right. 1976, and graduated in 1978. Mm -hmm. I was always passionate about food, about cooking, yes. right? I mom and dad. They yeah. cooked well. So I decided, look, mommy wanted me to be a nurse. I didn't want to be that. Yeah. Right? And I stuck with cooking. In 1989, I migrated to Canada mm -hmm. to further my studies. And here I am today. Yes. Listen, guys, women, men, parents out there, don't discourage your children from their passions. Right? Mm -hmm. we, we come to this space with passions and they're here because we have talents. And we had a talent for cooking it's and yeah. it's something she really loved and enjoyed. And that's one of the ways you can identify right. where your talents lie, what your passion so is yes, about. Yes. Right? I'm very passionate about cooking. Yes. Uh, listen, <laughs> I'm so happy she's here today. I can't tell you. I can't stop smiling. Um, Marie, tell us about this business that you created. What did you, after you finished your studies in Canada, what led you to start a business? See that I'm passionate about cooking. Mm -hmm. I, first, I worked with CIBC head office, mm -hmm. right? That's in Toronto. That's Visa. Right. And CIBC, what is that? The Canadian Imperial Bank of Canada. Okay. I was working at the head office right. as a dispute analyst right. for 16 and a half years. And I did the catering part-time. Mm -hmm. I had a restaurant in Toronto called The Kong Shell, right. which I eventually closed mm -hmm. because banking wasn't my cup yes. of tea, right? And I decided, you know what? I started making lunches and breakfasts and pastries and taking into the bank. And yes, one and day I- your co-workers must have loved you. Went you. Nuts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I said to myself, you know what? I'm making more money during the catering yeah. and getting the abuse and the stress from the cardholders. Yes. One day I went into the bank and went to HR and just gave them back their security pass mm -hmm. and continued with my catering on the side, doing it from my house in Toronto. I love your courage. And, um, I have no regrets. Yes, I love your courage. Listen, guys, you heard that? She had a passion mm -hmm. and she went into banking and finance. And Maria, I used to work offshore. In, uh, this is in Barbados, mm -hmm. doing offshore um, companies, right? Okay. I used to do the accounts there. And let me tell you, that accounting world, yes. <laughs> it's a lot. Mm -hmm. It uh, takes a lot of, out of you. A lot of you. Yeah. It takes a lot out of you. So I commend you for being able, even <laughs> after that, to yeah. go and cook, right? Because mm -hmm. let me tell you, that's long hours. Yes. And uh, my kids, my both daughters, mm -hmm. Chanel and uh, Stacia, they were very young. Yeah. And they would be in the kitchen and they would be helping me yes. with all the catering jobs. My first home that I purchased in Toronto yes. was by catering. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Inspirational, <laughs> inspirational and delicious. <laughs> <laughs> inspirational, I tell you. You know, going into business is a scary thing. It's not yes. always the 
you know, you need some nerves of steel. Mm -hmm. And I always tell, you know, we as women, we are sometimes cultured to be perfect mm -hmm. and men are cultured to be brave. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's a hard thing for us to, you know, it's mm -hmm. not that we don't have it, but sometimes yes. it's hard, right? It's because, yeah. yeah, society is telling you, do the, do the secure thing, mm -hmm. stay in a good job and mm -hmm. do all these things. And you have pension and, and insurance yeah. and health. I mean, listen, but you have to follow your passions. Your passions. Women yeah. out there, do it scared. Mm -hmm. Do it without support because sometimes you don't always have support. No, you don't. Do it without support. The way will open for you. And Marie, tell them, give them, give them your an insight into what you did and how you did it in terms of going from that security of having um, uh, being employed by someone else mm -hmm. to now being your own employer, being your own boss, being people. autonomous. Tell us about that journey. Okay, first, uh, I must say it was a bit scary, mm -hmm. you know, having two young daughters, yes. a single parent, right? A little bit of support from the dad. And I was always a go-getter, yeah. right? And uh, I would make my stuff without even advertising it. Yeah. After I finished baking and cooking, I get on the phone. I say, here what, guys, I have X, Y, Z on sale. Mm -hmm. And it's never enough. <laughs> It don't sold ever out. be sold out. <laughs> and I say, you know what? Yeah. The kind of person that I am, I'm a go-getter. Mm -hmm. I'm a hard worker. And I believe in taking chances. Yes. Right? And because of my personality, you find that people sort of gravitate to me. Mm -hmm. If I call and say, look, Mrs. Alexander, I have fruitcakes on sale. All she would say, how much you want? Yes. Or oh, she said, drop me one or drop me two. Yes. Right? And uh, she's one of the persons, she was my teacher at uh, high school at Signal Hill Senior Comprehensive. She was very supportive up until today. Mm -hmm. She's still supportive. Yes. She buys her meals every Friday yes. at my place, which is located at uh, the Food Hub, boot number 16. Food Hub, boot at the number show park. 16. Yes, boot number 60. And this is six zero. An and this is Anne Marie Arthur. So, and every Friday you do stuff I there. I do That's there what Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays. So, go, listen, today's Thursday, so she's going to be there today. No, I'm yes? going to be there because of the interview today. Okay, so and check I have her tomorrow. Interviews to do today. Check her tomorrow and Saturday, Saturday, you said, right? Yes. But next week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Food Hub number 60, you can get Anne Marie Arthur. Oh my gosh, that table looks so delicious. That table is what I did for the press conference mm -hmm. for the Tobago Jazz Experience 2023. Right. With how boys to men. Anne Marie, how nobody didn't invite me? I didn't get none of that. How <laughs> was the press conference? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I didn't get none of that. And those are some of my local candies that I make. Ooh. But I mold What's myself. What's that flower thing there? What's that flower? That's a rose. That's a bene. Okay. And the guava Wait, cheese. Wait, you did a, f a flower out of the... The bene and so the So not a bene cheese. ball, a bene flower. That's what the, you did. But a rose. Ooh. And what's in the little containers? We have guava cheese. Oh. Is molded in roses and hats. I could I could see me easily, <laughs> easily moving from my current, <laughs> my current address of my current size to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll gobble those up. Let me tell you. And then you have the lime balls. They're yeah. all local candies, and you have the fudge. What I love about what you're doing is the variation in presentation. Yes. Right. So you're doing flowers. With the banner instead of just simply the banner ball. Yes. And listen, we're not knocking the, the local entrepreneurs who are making the banner balls and banner stick. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is that kudos to you, Miss Arthur, for your you. innovation yes. in your presentation. I you always know? like we to eat be with different. our eyes first. Yes. Very true. Yes. So instead of dropping and cutting, mm -hmm. I decide to mold my local candies. Yes. Yeah. That's so fantastic. So this business you have started, how long have you been in this business? 42 years. That is some <laughs> experience on their belt. <laughs> yes. Well, I've by your age, your experience, we go yes. by experience because yeah. let me tell you, mm -hmm. that is something you can't beat no. with a stick. Yeah. That's 42 years of being an entrepreneur. Yes. Both in Canada and here. And here. here. I, I started you. right after high school. Yes. I worked at Signal Hill Senior Comprehensive right after high school. Mm -hmm. well, Ten and a half years in the home economy department. Would you trade that journey into entrepreneurship 
to do something else today? No. Look that's my that, passion. That's, that's, that's my you, passion. That's it. You see, this is what we're talking about. Single-mindedness yeah. of passion. You just, mm -hmm. this is it. Yeah, I'm very, very passionate about mm -hmm. the culinary arts. Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell me, with that passion, where do you see, in terms of Tobago, mm -hmm. and not just Tobago, mm -hmm. but in terms of the entire Caribbean, because mm -hmm. we have the tourism industry, and it's very much geared towards, um, you know, food and gastronomy, mm -hmm. right? When we talk about, oh my gosh, what is, look Those at this. Those are kebabs. What, what's on this? Stuff? Chicken, bell peppers, carrots. Mm, mm, mm. My mouth is watering right now. It says enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are enjoying. It's a party. Yeah. You, tell us what, mm. where it, you, what would you think is your perspective in terms of what's happening with our um, food industry? And not just, you know, fast food, or the, but our gastronomy. Right. Where do you see that in terms of where should it be going? Where should we be heading in terms of our gastronomy and perhaps even THTI? Because they, they do that up there. Yes. Tell us about this. I think they're supposed to be heading towards that international level. Mm -hmm. Right. I know it's going to take a lot. It's going to take it, uh, time. Yes. But we need to focus more on that level. Yes. Because, for example, for the jazz experience, they were looking for someone, a chef at an international level, because mm -hmm. voice the men coming in from the States. Yes. And the only one they could have thought of at the time mm -hmm. that was available was, was me. Yes. I was happy for the, the opportunity. The experience was great. Yes. But there are a lot of improvement that has to be made in mm -hmm. terms of the food industry in Tobago. And improvements in what way? Is it that what's available for you to use to be able to cook? The availability of it? a lot of ingredients, one, mm -hmm. the quality of the food. Right. Right? We need to step up. Mm -hmm. Step up the game a bit. So, you, so you, you mean in terms of what's being put out? Put out, yes. Yeah, okay. And that's one. And a lot of ingredients you don't get here, but I yeah. go to Toronto all the time. Right. Something like every two months, for example, I was there recently, I'll be back there by the end mm -hmm. of the month because I cannot get certain ingredients here in Trinidad and Tobago. Right. To produce, you know, some of my work like these boxes mm -hmm. that I have here that I uh, serve my wines in. Yes. I can't get those here. It's just on. Sometimes I need the simple bell peppers. Yeah. There's no bell peppers on the island. Really? So what about the agro-society, the agro-society? Is it that you can access stuff from local farmers instead of just probably going? I don't know. I'm we just don't asking. Have, so we you don't have bell peppers, the orange, the yellow, the red. Yeah. They have sweet peppers, the green ones. I see what you're seeing. Yes. I but see what I you're seeing. believe in color. For that, yes. Yes. Oh, and you see some of my work. Yes. Very, yeah. very, um, how to put, colorful. Colorful. It's so, supposed to jump out at you. Yeah, and that is that is how we are in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. We are colorful people. Yes. So our food should be able to reflect that as well, right? And taste. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we have good seasoning. I know, ooh, mm -hmm. I like it. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, my stomach is growling right now. All, <laughs> all our viewers out there, you're looking. Check Miss Anne-Marie Arthur, booth number 60 in the food hub right there in Shaw Park. Every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. She's not there today, guys, but check her tomorrow and Saturday. Okay. What number? Give them a number. My phone number, the local number is 268-8412. Uh, and I have a WhatsApp number, which is my international number. It's 1-647-512-6842. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Miss, Miss Anne-Marie, I'm so happy that you're here. Before we... Tell, tell me what we could sample, because I want, I want to sample one thing. I don't want to be greedy in front of the cameras, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to dig in when you all when y'all go. Tell us what here I can, we can sample. What I have here this morning yes. is a double chocolate chip cookie. You all are seeing this? And you yeah. have the <laughs> orange cranberry biscuff, mm -hmm. which is an Italian cookie right. that is served with tea or coffee. Right. And they're a bit warm still. They would. I know. I'm just feeling, a bit. I'm fresh. feeling the warmth. Yes. And I'm here. Feel, you, oh, wait, am I? This is good. 
Oh, very nice. Mm. Very nice. You have some of the cookies that are plain, mm -hmm. and you have some dipped in a glaze. Right. So can I try sure. any? Any of so this it's, is the chocolate one. That's just plain chocolate, double right. chip chocolate and this cookie. Is which one? And these are the biscuff. So this one with is cranberry, with tea orange, and, and yes, right. orange and, and this cranberry. One is the same thing. The same thing, but this one is plain, no orange um, glaze in it. This one has an orange glaze. Okay, so I'm gonna try this one with the glaze on it. Mm -hmm. or, so it's two to it together. You can separate it. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm I gonna bought try enough that the staff should have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna leave something for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave something for y'all. I'm not that greedy. We're just gonna taste this one. This looks so little. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Should try the other end with the glaze. The crunch. Yes. The crunch. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This it's is for tea or coffee. Tea or I can coffee. See that. It's an Italian cookie. Listen, I or biscuit that is. I love a lemongrass tea. Mm -hmm. Right. That would go well with it. Or, yes, <laughs> or a bacchanal tea. And I know plenty of people don't like, but I like a, mm -hmm. I get a bacchanal leaf from outside and I make a whole pot, right? A whole pot. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to take some of this. Yes, you know, I'll leave something for, for the others. <laughs> but this here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, pretty good, pretty good. The crunch. Yeah. And I know a lot of y'all out there, y'all love to dunk, <laughs> right? And you're drinking your tea or coffee. You like to take a dip with your biscuits? This is going to stand up to that liquid. So when you mm -hmm. dip it in your tea yes. or your coffee, right? And you bite into it, it isn't going to be soggy. No, it won't. Mm -hmm. We're mm -hmm. going to get back to this. Then you have the traditional fruit cake. Mm -hmm. People call it black cake or Christmas right. cake. That one is the guava cheese. Mm. This is the flower guava cheese. The rose. Mm -hmm. That you had on camera earlier. And it's a chili. And this is guava cheese too? Yes, it right. is another, more differently. Uh, another flower pattern. Mm, it feels solid. It is. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You intending to, um, to send people to get a fresh new wardrobe. What is this? <laughs> That's a traditional fruit cake. Mm -hmm. You call it Christmas cake or black cake. Okay, so guys, this is the traditional fruit cake. And she gave us an extra serving of alcohol in this. I don't know yes. if you could see it right yes. here. Yeah, there's a tube here with some alcohol in it. <laughs> so if you didn't get enough in the fruitcake, I love it. On. It feels mm -hmm. <laughs> It feels solid. Tell us about this here. Here we I have a, a mango honey mustard sauce. Ooh. It can go with chicken, mm -hmm. fish, mm -hmm. shrimp, seafood on the mm -hmm. whole. And it's sort of protein, exactly so. Across? You could even use it on desserts. Mm -hmm. This yes. looks, listen, this looks like you need a sprinkle when you're eating your pilau. Mm -hmm. Goes well with pilau. Mm -hmm. Some nice cold slow on the side, <laughs> yes. guys. I know what I'm talking about. Yes. <laughs> Not this, I don't like a wet pilau. Some mm -hmm. people do, but I like, I like my pilau medium. Green, medium. Yes. yes. Yeah. And sure. this on top of it. Yes. Where can we get this if we don't get it from your booth? Well, right now, is that my boot? I'm in the process of having it in the grocery stores. Right. And that. Okay. It's already well, international. You're gonna get. You're gonna get the. You're gonna be able to take this overseas just now, guys. So we have this here. This is ooh, planting ginger jam. You say? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Once you are in the culinary arts, uh -huh. you have to have a creative mind. Planting ginger jam. I could see this. This is this looking spreadable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some good, a nice, I like Crackers. my bread toasted. Toasted. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, Father, Lord of mercy. Then you have the wine. Oh. Well, guys, I don't have to tell you all, right? You all have seen me in Book Club Corner. <laughs> this wine, so wait, this is a local wine? That's my wine, yes. So, Anne Marie. I have Book Club Corner on a Wednesday. I put in a plug out. I need two bottles from you for Book Club Corner. <laughs> okay. You see these glasses? This mm -hmm. is what we bib with on a Wednesday mm -hmm. when I speak to authors. All right. And we will be giving us some wine. So all the authors out there that I have scheduled for next week, Wednesday, any next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Check it out. What is this? This is what? Um, That's a, a Cabernet. A Cabernet Sauvignon. Yes. Blackberry Black flavored. Berry. Yes. Ooh. I have a collection. Mm-hmm. I have the strawberry, I have the tropical Riesling, mm -hmm. which is a blend of four different fruits. Right. I have the pineapple, I have the, the blackberry. Mm -hmm. 
a few others. And Marie, where you live in? <laughs> <laughs> where you live? You have space? I feel I'm moving. Yes, I have an extra room. <laughs> I feel I'm moving. Besides uh, the wines, mm -hmm. right now, I have um, liqueurs. Yes. That are being prepared mm -hmm. to be bottled. For Christmas. For the holiday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I sent a photo of the bottles and the liqueurs. Mm -hmm. I don't think they showed it already. The yes. flavors I have right now is ginger, right. sorrel, pineapple, and guava. I love a good liqueur. Yes. Oh. Serve and crush ice. Anne-Marie, you sound like my kind of people. <laughs> Anne-Marie is my kind of people. Listen, you see this spread here? This is what you can have for Christmas. Anne-Marie does catering. If you have parties, anniversaries, weddings, Coffee christening, events. wakes, right? And Marie is going to sort you out. Give them that number again so they can call. Yeah, but before I give the number for the holiday, I have a collection of 13 different uh, puncher cream mm -hmm. also that is on sale. Yes. That will be available, right? And my number again is 1-868-268-8412. And my WhatsApp number, which is also my international number, mm -hmm. is 1-647-512. 6842. Very good. That's Thank you, guys. Anne Marie, we are so, I'm so enthused. My tummy thanks you. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes thank you. This was such a party. Mm -hmm. I am, listen, blown away by what you're sharing here. We're going to be wrapping up soon and heading into our trivia. But before we go, mm -hmm. I want to ask you, you know, on a serious note, because, you know, we, we enjoy the, the, the spread and all of that. But seriously, can a business doing what you do make it? I'm asking for all those who are doubting Thomas's out there, right? Mm, don't do that, telling their children and their loved ones. Mm, that's, not, that's not a good idea. Tell, can a business like yours work? Yes, it can work. Mm -hmm. You've got to put a lot of work into it to make your business work. Mm -hmm. Right, you got to do a lot of advertising, make sure that your standard is always above the other. Yes. It's supposed to be at a certain level. And you have to be passionate also mm -hmm. about the food industry. Yes. And to, to get tooled up, skilled up. Skilled up, right? yes. Make sure if you're into this, you know, you can go to different places, places. and get the skills you need. Yes. THTI Even is a online, good place to you go. You can have it online it, also. The University of YouTube, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what can't you learn on off YouTube? Off YouTube. I've yeah. done a lot of, got to learn a lot of stuff off of YouTube. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yes. There's so much you can learn and do. Mm -hmm. Versatility in your craft as yes. well. You know, and I love that. This has been such a fun time with you. Let me tell you, I can't wait for you all to go away <laughs> me to get into this. And Marie and I have much to talk about. Yes. I love it. Thank you so much for this, Anne Marie. It was lovely having you. Is there anything mm -hmm. you want to, before you go, impart to our viewers about your business or about even being an entrepreneur? Before I go, I want to thank my parents. Mm -hmm. My son, Mrs. Arthur, my dad, he has passed on. Mommy is here still yeah. with us. Very supportive. My father was late Elton Arthur, mm -hmm. my mom Eunice Arthur, and mommy support us a lot. The mm -hmm. six of us, yeah, three boys, three girls. Yeah. I also have the support of my siblings, Ted Arthur, who just won the Global Award in England wow. for his leather craft. Right. I have my brother Patrick, and Bunny also. They are all into business. Lisa Arthur Lavelle, she's based in Tobago. She has put a lot into the Blue Food. She works at the Festival Commission. I have Carleen, is the last of six. Mm -hmm. She's also into the food industry, the cosmetology, a lot of work. So I'm going to encourage people, mm -hmm. right? Reach for your goals. If you know you're passionate about something, go for it. Yes. For example, the food industry is a lot of hard work. Yes. And once you're in the food industry, Bear in mind, you must have a creative mind. Mm -hmm. You must be really passionate about it. Yeah. Long hours, hard work, reach for your goals. Yes. But well, that's if one that's thing what about your you passion. Yeah. When it's your passion, it doesn't feel like long hours. You could do it all day long. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I love that. And listen, Anne-Marie is a woman of... 
this lady i asked about her business and she she brought everybody she let you listen she brought all her people along she thanked everybody and yeah. she called everybody's name and what they're into mm -hmm. i love that you're sharing your yes. spotlight with everyone that is so phenomenal yeah and then my i have two daughters they live mm -hmm. in toronto and chanel the youngest one yes she has a catering business also that's part-time from a full-time job yes. it's called bf friends we have kitchen it is best friend kitchen yes She's my competition, <laughs> trust me. And then I have Tanisha Stacia, yeah. right? She, tomorrow will be a year since she had opened her oh, Stuff My Waffle oh. business. Yeah. And she's doing pretty okay with I that. Love that. And she's the eldest of the, elder of the two. Mm -hmm. And she's into cheesecakes also. So they got that from their mom mm -hmm. and I got this from my mom and my dad. Yes. Right? My aunt only on my journey Right when I attended John Donaldson Technical Institute, Institute mm -hmm. she was very instru instrumental, yeah. also in me reaching where I am. Mm -hmm. My aunt Eurys, mm -hmm. she was very supportive. That's my mom's mm -hmm. sister, mm -hmm. and her eldest daughter Verl. Mm -hmm. She's now in England. She's mm -hmm. based in England. Very very supportive. Yes. Likewise, her other siblings. Mm -hmm. So I always have that support from family, from her friends, yeah. even my customers. They support me mm -hmm. a lot encourage me when I have the downtime when it's slow okay. they will still mm -hmm. support me and give me words of encouragement and comfort mm -hmm. right so I love that. I want to thank these folks yes not forgetting my customers Listen. if not for my customers <laughs> Anne -Marie, I wouldn't be standing Anne -Marie, you're gonna have us here all day and I want to get into your treats I want to get into your treats <laughs> and the wine <laughs> And the wine, don't forget, I love Anne Marie's good yes. people. <laughs> yeah. So, we want to thank Anne Marie. Thank you very much for being here with us today. We really enjoyed this thank segment. You. Entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. get into it, put your back into it, put your elbow into it, put your mm -hmm. shoulder against the wheel, right? Anne Marie is saying it can work. Okay. Tool up, skill up, and you'll be okay, mm -hmm. right? And we're here to support you. We support local here in Trinidad and Tobago. We don't only want to support the foreign markets, but we support our local entrepreneurs. And we're heading into our trivia question right now. We have celebration time, right? Sh there should be bells and whistles because we have a correct answer. The trivia question is for today. 1961 to 1964, the Scarborough Secondary School was called by what name? And we have a correct answer. And that answer goes to Cynthia. Congratulations, and it was called Scarborough Secondary Modern School, a.k.a. Technical School or Central School. Oh, but <laughs> they sent me the correct name. Let me go look before, before people turn up and say, no, I heard my name. I won. I won. <laughs> Elizabeth McDougall. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Cynthia, no, it's not you. Don't don't come, don't turn up, right? It goes to Elizabeth McDowell. Thank you very much for that, Elizabeth. I don't know if you found it in the Google or somebody told you, but thank you for submitting that correct answer and congratulations to you. And that's it for us today, guys. We want to thank you for tuning in with us today and brunch and where we have, you know, all different flavors and tastes and arts and craft and authors across Trinidad and Tobago coming here to share with you their talent, their loves, their passion, right? And to keep you updated in what's happening in Trinidad and Tobago, what's going on with our people. Keep in mind all the persons who ask for funding and support. We support local, we support local. We make sure our people are taken care of. All the numbers you may have to call, check in with them, and you will be seeing Janelle very soon don't cry. She's going to be back, right? You know, we miss you, J Soul. We'll see you soon. And take care of yourselves and enjoy the rest of your Thursday, which is the new Friday. So bye, guys.